Welcome to Wildcat Basketball Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A Visa debit card. Show your Wildcat spirit and get your free debit card today. Visit them at HughesFCU.org, federally insured by NCUA. Welcome to another edition of Wildcat Weekly with head coach Sean Miller. Cats are headed to Las Vegas in the Pac-12 tournament starting on Thursday afternoon at the MGM Grand Garden Arena. Before we get to that, Coach, congratulations and a great finish to the regular season. Uh, two outstanding wins over two good basketball teams and Gabe York, Pac-12 Player of the Week. I, could it have ended any better? No, it couldn't have. Um, you know, our, first of all, our, our finish against Cal is one of the great finishes that I've been a part of. And you know, obviously, Gabe, you know, he, he brought us back from the dead making uh, what I would consider three just incredibly difficult clutch shots and, and we simultaneous, simultaneously with that got big stops, you know, where if they would have scored even though Gabe hit these miraculous shots, we still wouldn't have won because we were down by as many as eight points on the two minutes. But that's why you fight all the way to the end and, and that's something that I think our team has done a good job of this season. And, once in a while, it didn't go our way, but we fought to the end consistently, and it, and it did bounce our way on Thursday, which then fed into Saturday's uh, senior day game. And just, again, watching Gabe pick up right where he left off, Brian, uh, you, you've seen some great shooters and great players in our program's history, but you know that performance certainly had the rival of the greats. was one of the best that I've ever seen, and our team deserves a lot of credit as well. We played with a lot of confidence and a lot of unselfishness, and Gabe was the beneficiary of that. So your team wins seven of its last nine conference games. You go to the Pac-12 tournament now as defending tournament champions. Where is your team in your mind right now as they head to postseason play? Well, I think we're in a good place. Um, you know, we, we had six in a row going into the difficult mountain swing at Colorado, Utah. And, you know, both those teams are really good, and, and on the nights we showed up, and they had great crowds and played with tremendous emotion and energy. You know, I do think that we, we felt bad about our own standard of play in, in those games, especially defensively. I talked a lot about that early last week and tried to come into the Cal and Stanford weekend with that being our focus. And we did a good job of backing up, playing with effort, togetherness, and, and stringing together what I think are two good defensive performances so you know for us offense has been there as consistently as as any team that, that we've had at Arizona what's done us in on a number of occasions is inconsistent defense whether it's a half a segment of the game and uh, when we're really consistent defensively with who we are on offense you know that's the best Arizona team we can be in and that's what we hope to be moving forward True fans live for their team. They buy the gear, they order the tickets, they pay for the seats and the experiences. For those true U of A fans, thankfully there is Hughes Federal Credit Union, offering the latest payment choices such as U of A debit cards, paying online, paying a friend with pop money, or using Apple Pay with your mobile phone. Show your U of A spirit and put technology and convenience at your fingertips. Hughes Federal Credit Union, smart choice. Wildcat Basketball Weekly continues, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union. So if you find that defensive consistency, do you feel confident that this team is built to win three games in three days in Las Vegas? We're capable. You know, I don't know if all 12 teams are, maybe three or four are. I think we're one of them if we're at our best. But the thing about March is the best team doesn't always win. It's who plays the best in that two and a half hour period of time. And so much of saying that comes down to how eager you are to play, how ready you are, how desperately you want to continue your season to move on. That You don't take it for granted, that you don't want it to end, that you want to move towards that next day, that next game. And, and in our case, having a chance to be a part of this year's semifinal round in the Pac-12 tournament would be quite an accomplishment and a thrill in and of itself because of how strong our conference is this year. Because of the parity we see in college basketball this season, because of the strength of the Pac-12 this season, can playing well, winning the Pac-12 tournament, getting to the final game, etc., uh, change your potential seed in the NCAA tournament? No doubt. 
And there's going to be teams all across the country because of how well they play in their respective conference tournaments, maybe on the heels of how they finish their regular season, are going to play themselves right into the NCAA tournament. And right now, if our season ended, they would not be in. Or, um, you know, they were a certain seed, but because of how well they play, four games in four days or three games in three days, that they just catapult into a different seed, a different region. And, you know, we want to be on that side. We don't want to be on the other side. And that's really all we can control is our own performance and how ready we are. And whether we play Washington State or Colorado, so much of the success on Thursday will be determined by uh, our effort level and our focus and our preparation long before the game starts. All right, Cats open Pac-12 play Thursday afternoon. 3.30 Mountain Time is the tip-off from Las Vegas. Thank you for watching Wildcat Basketball Weekly, presented by Hughes Federal Credit Union, home of the official U of A debit card. Visit them at HughesFCU.org, federally insured by NCUA.